All right, welcome back to We Are the Fall, and today we get to talk about and meet up with one of our one of our favorite marks that we haven't been able to talk about in a while. And who would that be, Steve? Mark Riley. Mark Riley, and we're going to start doing some of these little. We've intentionally held off on some of these little side excursions into some of the fall members side bands that we're excited to get into because we're going to do this in maybe more of a practical way which is to take a little bit of our we're going to take some time and kind of break off a little piece here and there of these little side things and we got actually sent this by um one of our fall heads damien and we got this seven inch from 1983 so we're going back to after mark riley leaves the fall and we're actually going to get some fall guest appearance members on this album as well but we got a seven inch right what do we got we got yeah seven inch two songs side a jumper clown side b violins what i have here is it came out on the label in tape, which is Mark Riley's, I think, own label. So self-produced. Yeah. Yeah, it is? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it was running. And so self-produced record, two songs, and two actually really entertaining as well as rocking songs. And how did you feel when you first listened to this one? It was a surprise. It yeah, it sounds very uh fall adjacent a little uh not a little a w- more lively kind of poppy um bounce to its step for sure yeah and so when i listened to this first first time i said you know i was familiar with mark riley and the creepers but i was not familiar with this seven inch which is not labeled with the creepers and actually contains some members that we know under pseudonyms as we actually got to experience with bricks in in the band recently and but we got mark riley kind of i don't know making his diss track to the marky smith which is fun right when i heard the first track and i heard him pretty much slagging off the former band leader it's it's really actually hilarious <laughs> and it's actually a rock and song and um which one do you like? I mean, we got a couple. There's different stuff going on here, too, because we also get even a callback to a fall melody that we might have heard on a album, too. You catch that? Yeah. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, just, yeah, kind of the undertones are are there. Um, mm. I, I think Jumper Clown is a more fun song. I, I definitely like the the violins on the violins and it's kind of twangy, uh, more country feel. Yeah, which, which is good. Yeah, let's get on to some of this personnel here. Who do we got, Steve, on this Mark Riley self-release 7-inch? Uh, Mark Riley, of course. Guitar, organ, and vocals. Pete Kehoe on bass. Ooh, Pete Kehoe. Yeah, Pete Kehoe. Uh, Paul Fletcher on guitar. Paul Billy, Fletcher. Billy's on the percussion. And uh, Vinny's on the violin. So we got a bunch of one name people on these tracks. Very mysterious, very strange. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that they are not who they presume to be because I'm hearing a lot of Mr. Steve Hanley bass riffing and also Craig Scanlon ripping up that guitar. And Billy on the drums, of course. <laughs> and also what we do have a labeled guest who is just labeled on the track credits as Pins. Pins the guest. And if anyone knows who that is, let us know because I have no idea. I'm gonna uh, I'm, you got I'm a gonna, guess? I'm gonna, I'm gonna guess it's a cat, just the studio cat. Mm. Pins the cat. It's kind of interesting too because on Discogs, Pins has three credits to their to their name, <laughs> so they've been busy. They've been busy as a guest 
um, in whatever they were doing, not even playing. Or maybe it's like a guest, like like the guest that is like the drunk, um, unintended guest that walks into the recording session. You know, that's yeah, all right. Whoever yeah. was bring whoever, the vibe. Whoever was there for the day. That's why I think the cat bring in the vibe. Yeah, pub pub buddy. Yeah. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna get into these songs, but because this is a Patreon bonus episode, we just wanna let you know if you like to get into some of this more obscure stuff maybe not for real deep fall heads but for your maybe standard fall heads let's get into some of this more obscure type of things on on patreon and also we can't play some of this stuff <laughs> legally so if you like what you're hearing let's jump over there and continue this but let's just jump into this first track and let's tear it apart uh because it really deserves it lyrically and musically let's get into jumper clown jumper clown 